Peggy 18. Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another episode of Stardew Valley 1.5 here on Not Your Professional Walkthroughs channel with me, your host Max. Well, it's finally here. Linus has birthday, so yeah, we're gonna celebrate that. And on top of it, we have additional two days of winter to work and theoretically mine, forage, do whatever we can manage to do so let's see how this will work out for us so yeah linus now i have looked over linus and i have not noticed any change to his uh favorite gifts so basically he still loves blueberry tart cactus fruit coconut dish of the sea and yeah this probably explains why it took me forever to level up his friendship because i kept giving him common mushrooms so, yeah, he likes those and it was super convenient for me to get them because, well, I have the mushroom cave and it took a while to get to four hearts so we can get the wild bait. But yeah, there aren't any changes in him other than the gifts that include likes now also have ginger and magma cap. It looks like these two things have been added to like liked gifts or neutral gifts to quite a lot of NPCs, so that is like the only difference. I do not see any newly added 1.5 content. However, as I was looking through Linus, and I was looking through his special schedule, and I only see that on the 15th he has a special schedule, otherwise he sticks to regular schedule, so 6 a.m. inside his tent, 11 a.m. exits tent, stands to left of fireplace in front of the tent, 2 p.m. walks to spa, stands inside the entrance, 6 p.m. returns to his tent for the night. Okay, honestly, I really don't understand why can't he just go inside and take a dip in the pool? It's not, not like that many people use it, and I don't use it because I tend to utilize dishes, but fun thing is actually as i was looking over the winter there is now change with the 1.5 update and that is a special order which we can get from linus and since we are already discussing linus i thought what the hell let's try to connect it to the 1.5 content since actually lately i was able to fulfill quite a lot of these special orders so who knows okay so the special order which you can do will give you fiber seeds and these seeds can apparently be grown during even winter outside and it will give you fiber now it looks like it's pretty damn idiotic thing to consider right but if we take a look at some of the craftable recipes like for example the warm bin or something else we see that the requirements are 50 fiber and once you clear out the original fiber and trees from your farm it's actually really difficult to replenish your fiber reserves like the best chance for you to come across fiber is in the mines where the worms and the copper is located so basically from like level one till i don't know 15 or so right that is a good place for you to theoretically come across fiber sure it can be even located in the level 80 and below but this will be your new best place to look for fiber or theoretically the cinder sap woods now the 1.5 update is actually providing you plenty of solutions to gather some of these resources which were previously pretty difficult to obtain or maintain a decent stock of during later stages of the game so for example once you clear out your farm you are aren't able to come across that much fiber because let's face it even if you start your year two in the spring season sure there might be some stone some sticks and some fiber and some tall grass growing around your farm but it's never gonna be as much as it initially was so yeah this is actually pretty damn interesting so the fiber seeds can be received from a special order from linus and uh, this could be uh, the community cleanup so 
It says, I have an idea. There's a lot of trash in the water. Why don't we fish out to make the valley more beautiful? Linus. So basically, gather the dump in the bin at the train platform. Collect 20 trash items, except of Joja Cola. And gathering counter works with crap pots as well. And basically, you get 500 gold, you increase friendship with Linus, and you get the Fiber Seeds recipe. And if this thing can actually grow during the uh, winter season, that, that might be actually pretty damn interesting. As the ingredients you require, mix seeds, five sap, and one clay. The result is four Fiber Seeds per craft. Now, I'm not really sure if you're going to get like one fiber per one tile, but let's face it, if you keep demolishing the tree population, you have plenty of sap. If you keep going into the mines, you will come across clay. Mixed seeds are not that difficult to come across, so maybe the fiber might be actually doable now. So, yeah, that's pretty damn decent. Now, I'm not really sure if there's going to be any new quest, but yeah, I thought it's, this would be a nice topic to discuss because we are dealing with the winter and with Linus, and this is related to the 1.5 update. Now, when it comes to today's plan, based on the luck, since it's Wednesday, we cannot go see Pierre. But I can go see Robin and I can go see Marnie. Today, the second barn should be constructed. So when I go outside, I should be able to acquire four additional cows from Marnie. And theoretically, I should be able to put in an order for Robin to build additional barn because it's Wednesday. So on Monday, Marnie is usually at Pierre's shop. On Tuesday, both Robin and Marnie work out at Pierre's shop. And Wednesday is the first day of the week when you can actually start doing some business with the ladies. So we can theoretically try to do this based on what the luck will be, but I would definitely try to do this. And if I will be dealing with Linus, then going to Robin is just logical option because those two are located at the same spot. So why the hell not? And yeah, so let's go outside uh, after we watch some TV and see what can we do today. So, we know that tomorrow it's gonna be snowing too, and the fortune for today, okay, so it's unfortunately not the best day, and we have rerun of Queen of Sauce for the Trout Soup, okay. So, if we go outside and we take a look at the snapshot, by the way, still did not receive any feedback on if you like the way I do these snapshots, so, anyhow, uh, we have Mushroom Cave, Greenhouse is gonna be empty for a while, it's gonna take for the three saplings to reach full maturity, especially, I think it's gonna rotate the entire season just for those. The Ancient Fruit and Star Fruit and Coffee and Strawberries, they can take a while as well. So, we have some Deluxe Speed Grow from the Tibia, which I loaded into the Bone Mill. We have a bunch of pale ale done, we have stuff in the crab pots, three of our fish ponds will want to increase their population, it looks like also some preserve jars are done, and I'm gonna have to water those five winter mixed seeds, so yeah, unless we get more iridium, which seems to be still smelting in the furnaces, it's, it's gonna take a while for me to build additional a radium quality sprinkler now one would go outside and two can go inside of the greenhouse so i can fill in the remaining slots with uh, star fruit for example or something like this so since i have all the cactus and coconuts on me and i do not have like an egg which i would require for the blueberry tart i'm gonna probably just give him like cactus or coconut based on his personal preference let's just double check it so i don't do something idiotic and screw up yeah no he loves both of them so yeah theoretically we can give him one of these now on the last episode i was finally able to pick up the galaxy sword which is awesome but yeah before i start upgrading my tools i really want to make sure that i will prioritize 
getting these sprinklers and once these sprinklers are done or are, I'm gonna try to somehow balance it out obviously the pickaxe would be a nice priority for me the rest of the tools uh, may, maybe hoe and watering can so that we can do something uh, at the start of the spring season but like I said not really gonna try to do too much farming on this farm because uh, throughout the first year so far spring summer fall season I always spend till like 12 p.m. Uh, or 12 a.m. time no 12 p.m. yeah 12 p.m. time to get the watering done and then if I wanted to go either to the mines or something it, it was just too much of a hot hassle so yeah we're gonna try to somehow balance things out and see what can be done regarding this so yeah we do have some fiber here I actually was thinking uh, one more thing with the snapshot that I want to expand the uh, crab pot population so I was thinking underneath the uh, recycling machines I can load in a bunch of more of them because well it's a narrow point and also the two shorelines uh, by the greenhouse which are inland leading to the two or three submerged trees there's also narrow patches of land so theoretically these can uh, hold more crab pots and the reason behind me wanting the crab pots is fairly simple I still need more muscles in order to ensure that I will get mango sapling eventually as we get to the Fern Island merchant so yeah that that is gonna be something that I will need to deal with as well okay uh, how many diamonds do I have we have four okay so let's try to hold on some of them let's put in the lava eel row so that we can get some decent money from this because so far since the start of the winter season I have been burning through cash like crazy and this is gonna continue as long as I can do this okay now this might be an issue for the ice pips I don't really think I do have five frozen tears right now now surprisingly enough I do have the Omni Geodes so sturgeons have been taken care of fairly easily and yeah we are getting some muscles and stuff so this is gonna be awesome but yeah this place should hold a bunch of more crab pots we are getting some lobsters not that much trash despite the fact that it's uh, not that much of a lucky day so that's surprising what do you want okay you want two mega bombs if I have enough solar essence left out uh, thanks to uh, visiting the Krobus on his birthday uh, we should be able to provide whatever is necessary okay we can theoretically even sell these two things over here I can load in the trash and let's see let's see let's see it's gonna do it for now so two mega bombs I really have to check if I have the required stuff for the ice pips but I highly doubt it so we are at 66 that is awesome okay the iridium is officially done I'm gonna have to go and take a look at the moons inside of the firstborn and also if I'm gonna go see Marnie I should theoretically consider getting my hands on what you call it uh the milking uh bucket okay two of those damn it i left one out okay yeah that's cool because we have a bunch of stuff so i can take this for the kegs and for the preserve jar we'll just go with a cranberry for now it's gonna take a while before the uh strawberries inside of the greenhouse will produce anything and the coffee too but i can go take a look at those to see if we have what it is required or necessary or if 
these things have reached full maturity. Let's take the tools because we might need them for some reason. I definitely need to water the mixed seeds which are growing outside. Okay, so Moomoo's are still young. What are you angry about? I did give you food. And you won't go outside during- Oh yeah, damn it! I need to get you a heater. It's winter. I'm a dumbass. Okay, so one more reason for me to go see Marnie. And actually, I'm gonna have to get two heaters. Okay, so yeah, this is where I want to get those additional crab pots. So yeah, this is gonna take forever. Let's go see what's in these ones. Okay, looks like I left one out, so that was not refilled, unfortunately. Oh, we're getting more lobster. That is awesome. So if I will be able to build another sprinkler here, I can get these seeds watered by the sprinkler and I don't have to do it manually. And I also do not need right now the scarecrows for this. Because the forgeable seeds do not require the supervision. But okay, let's do this. Let's dump whatever we can into the small shipping bin. So let's just stack up these things. Ooh, five. Nice. Nice. Good for me. Okay, the two mega bombs, and let's go see Marnie. And we're gonna take the mini obelisk to basically use it as a shortcut of sorts. I should have loaded the trash into the recycling machines. Okay, so what do we need for the Iridium quality sprinklers, huh? Gold and battery packs. So, one, two, three. Because I just don't have enough Iridium for me to make uh, the pickaxe upgrade. So this will do, therefore I need to take a look at 14. Uh, that's not the best, to be perfectly honest. Do you have some row here? It's gonna have to wait till it can be aged. Okay, we have plenty of geodes. Theoretically, we can crack those open at Clint's shop. Okay, so how do we want to do this so that there is some system to it? Um, okay, so I have the coconuts and cactus. I should have theoretically dropped that off into the uh, kegs, but that's correct now. Uh, maybe I will just make more kegs. Who knows? I mean, it's winter after all. Uh, duh, 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 duh. From that air so hold on. I'm looking for the barn requirements just so that I have the correct quantity. So 350 wood and 150 stone. Okay, that should be manageable. We're gonna give Linus a cactus, apparently. Okay, so we need 350. And 150 stone. And 6,000 gold. Yep. Okay. So let's try to organize this mess. So these two are for... Um, the barn. This is for Linus. This can go to Clint. Maybe we're gonna get something decent out of it. The five muscles have to be stored here. Ooh, 71, only four more, and we have one sapling guaranteed. Um, eventually, I can deal with the greenhouse in the evening. So let's go see Marnie. Uh, buy the two heaters, buy additional four mumus. Yeah, that's fun. That's that 1.5 content. <laughs> okay, so let's go see Marnie. It's already gonna be 11 a.m. There's a crocus. But I don't think I need that for any of the uh, seed creation. 
So supplies, we need one milk pail and we need two heaters, one for each of the barns. You know what, let's get the third one. Um, and let's get cows. So we stopped at Moo Moo 4. So I'm just gonna continue with naming the animals that way. I know it's not the most creative approach, but uh, I'm sorry. Some of the uh, generated names are just really weird. Yeah, like this. I'm not Shawso. That that's just strange. So this is Moomoo Six. Seven. And number eight. Wonderful. Beautiful. Okay. Uh, this has been taken care of. Looks like Louis is coming to check with his favorite lady. So what do we need for the winter forageables? We need... Oh yeah, we actually do need crocus. Damn. Uh, also, we need snow yam, crystal fruit, and winter root. I think I idiotically sold the winter root, which I came across. Maybe I'm gonna come across a snow yam. Okay, that's a snow yam. Come on, winter root, hook me up. Okay, so far nothing. I should really not do this now when I wanna go see Robin, right? Priorities, come on. This goes there, this goes there. Take the mini obelisk. Save a bunch of time. Uh, drop the heater. So that our moomoos are nice and warm. There goes the second one. You know what? We can actually put the third one over here for now. We can pet the cows. Let's give them food. The third one will be uh, moved to the third barn once it's constructed. So let's go see Robin and Linus. Linus should be outside of the tent. Okay, there's Holly, Winter Rude. Now I think the only thing which I'm actually missing is uh, the Crystal Fruit. And I swore I had one. So, Linus is there, so let's deal with him. There you go, bud. Hold on. What are we looking at? We are looking at five. And now we are looking at... What? I thought we were gonna get eight. Two, four, six, seven. Damn. Okay. Maybe I lost a heart with him or something. Yeah, everything is possible. As long as I did not lose the capability to make the wild bait. Okay, so we're gonna go with the barn. And I really don't see the point for me to yet upgrade the barns. Not really that necessary. So this has been constructed. 350 wood, 150 stone, 6,000 gold. It's gonna take her quite a while to get this thing done. Okay, so that's perfectly fine. We have those Omni Geodes, so theoretically speaking, despite the fact that it's an unlucky day, there might be Iridium inside. You never know. Uh, so we're gonna see. Man, winter was always the biggest problem for me when I was covering it on my laptop, because the footage was just always super blurry. It's just too many pixels on the screen so it never looked that pretty which is a shame okay so let's go to the town now technically i can actually even go to the quarry and break apart a bunch of those stones there uh i do have a full backpack Ooh, buddy if you're gonna keep this up we are gonna Ooh, prismatic short damn okay now i have to make sure to not screw up the recording somehow 
Okay, so it was probably a dumb idea for me to come here with everything I've got. We can actually donate the prismatic shard to the museum, believe it or not. Uh, that's gonna be one hard pill to swallow. Okay, I don't know how Vincent got so far ahead of everyone else. Yeah, let's put the prismatic shard here with the ancient seed because these are like super valuable things. I cannot believe I'm actually donating the prismatic shard. The chances of me coming across another prismatic shard in the remaining Omni Geodes is just minuscule. I mean, the luck I had to have in order to pull that chance off, that's incredible. You know what? Let, let's just dump the trash. I know I should be actually not doing this, but I really, really, really want to make sure that this can be done. And if I'll manage to go see Willy, I should be able to purchase those crap pots. So I'm thinking about like getting at least 10 of them, maybe. That would be nice. Uh, but of course, I would have to free up some of that backpack space. So let's see if Gunter is gonna take any of these things. Yeah, apparently we have dropped off everything. And I still have not picked up that fourth dwarf scroll. Okay, so let's do this. Let's go drop off uh, the stuff which I do not need. Another snow yam. Really need that crystal fruit in order to uh, put down. These are gonna be for mining. This is for that. Holly is just horrible, so I don't bother keeping that. Uh, theoretically, I should consider smelting some bars because I have been kind of going through my reserves. So maybe if I would make... We can move the furnaces, put them behind the barns. They should not burn down, hopefully. Uh, da, da, da. Let's see. We do have iron, we do have copper, we do have some wood. So I should be able to make more uh, kegs. And also I do have stupid quantity of coal, so I should be able to make more preserve jars. Uh, so let's do something idiotic uh, let's first uh do this move the furnaces and i want to move eventually all these things away so that the uh stables can be placed there so this will work out like this we are gonna put in this to be smelted okay Therefore, we are done with this, and I need the wood. And I don't have that much of it. So I did not think this through. Okay, I also need the stone. Uh, so I'm gonna actually go with the preserved jars as a preference. What am I missing? Wood and coal. Damn! What are the chances I can go see Clint to purchase some coal? Not that great. Not that great. Okay, but can we make... Yeah, without wood, I cannot make that many things. Can I make more furnaces? I should be able to make more of those, since I have the stone. And... Let's get it to eight. So these are gonna be working over here. And, yeah, these can go back for now. We're gonna see what can be done with this. I need to find that crystal fruit. I swear to God I had one somewhere. Right? Yeah, there you go. Okay. So this means that I can make 10 of these. I can sell these things. Uh, these will be able to be planted with that additional uh, sprinkler. I'm going to take the row and I'm going to actually load in the row into the preserved jars. 
That way I'm gonna actually clean up and free up some of this space. So you can go over there and we need two more pieces of something good. Oh, let's go with pumpkins. Oh, damn it. I still need to drop off the pumpkin for Caroline. But yeah, since today is Wednesday and Pierre's shop is closed, not the best option. So probably tomorrow if the luck will not change. Okay, okay, okay. So now what I can do is go put down the Iridium quality sprinkler with those seeds. So I'm not going to be able to fill in the entire area of effect but that that's perfectly fine as long as these get watered by the sprinkler and not have to be watered by me i'm happy so this will do this i'm not really sure how many of the Damn it, I totally forgot to go see Willie and make those or purchase those crab pots. Yeah, just that I had to backtrack here in order to free up the space in the backpack. So these two can go like this. And technically speaking, I was able to acquire that deluxe speed grow from uh, using all the uh, bones in the bone mill. Shockingly enough, I, as of yet, have not received a single piece of uh, the tree fertilizer. And I would really appreciate it, especially for the use on the mahogany trees which are growing at the farm currently. Okay, if we get two kegs, somehow the ancient fruit over here and over here might be put inside. But I'm going to require some wood for that. So theoretically, I can go into the secret woods. The nine deluxe speed grow will be utilized for the star fruit. And I really am going to have to purchase more star fruit seeds from Sandy at the oasis eventually. This is going to still take some time. We have room for four additional ones. Let's go ahead and plant those. And I really want to like leave uh, this space for the additional six ones for the star fruit eventually so this is perfectly fine i do have a lot of food uh so theoretically what i can do is go to the secret woods or theoretically i can actually go to the guild hall and i can sell the ossified sword I cannot deal with the Omni Geodes anymore. I have one more Winter Seeds uh, here. I really don't want to use the quality fertilizer for the star fruit inside of the greenhouse because it doesn't really matter what will be the quality of the fruit. It's going to be turned into an artisanal item no matter what. So it, it doesn't really change the fact of that. I'd rather just keep the fertilizer for some other use. Okay, so we have time till 10 p.m. to get to the guild hall. Okay, I do see that being done. Nice. Let's grab this thing. Theoretically, I can try to come across the frozen tears, but I'm not guaranteed it's going to work out for me. So let's sell the sword. What's an item recovery service? Okay. Ooh, damn. So actually, if I get killed... Huh. I can recover the items. Okay, cool. 
Oh, I can only get one? Damn it, I should have gone with the glazed yams. That was such a shame to lose that many of them. But I'll take the iridium, I'm kind of desperate for it. Despite the fact that I will still be missing one piece in order to actually make a full bar. But maybe depending on tomorrow's condition, we're gonna see. I'm especially hoping that the footage is gonna look perfectly fine now that I'm working with a desktop and not a laptop. So despite the fact that it's snowing and everything, it's it's not gonna be a totally blurry mess. Okay, maybe we're gonna even come across enough copper in here to build more preserve jars. I can start using them as a fence for the... Animals. Ooh, and theoretically speaking, you know what? Uh, actually, I can go and pick up the golden sight. So since I have the galaxy sword, I should not be totally scared. Uh, I'm not really sure, uh, I don't recall at this point how many levels there are. I think maybe it's just one. But there are those new enemy types implemented here, those flying skulls. Now, coincidentally, I actually think the 1.5 update has transferred the flying skulls on the Fern Island into the f flying flames which chase you around. So, maybe it's it's like the same principle, they just have a different attack pattern. I know that you don't see these skulls actually going after you like these ones will be. So, they will start to have the patterns of the serpents from the skull caverns. Okay, right shoots. And I'm actually getting some serious damage from them. Damn, I'm impressed. These things can bite! Okay, uh, so let's eat this thing. Recover some of that HP, because those skulls sure know how to pack a punch. Now let's try to make more of them focus me on the same time, so I can theoretically screw up, lose the progress in here, and have to restart the recording, because that's the only thing which I do right now need. At the end of the day. Okay, it's 12. I really want to make it to the damn statue. So if you would kindly just buzz off, that would be nice. Okay, there's the golden sight. Okay, and cool thing is I actually picked up one of the mega bombs, which reminds me I need to make another mega bomb. So the cool thing is actually that I should be able to drop one in and get one more done for the lava eel fish pond. But now the question is if I will actually manage to make it to the farm on time. Because I don't have any coffee or none of that bees knees. So let's see what can be done. Okay. Ooh, baggy pants. That That's weird. Is the game trying to me, tell me I should change my clothes or something? I know we can go see Emily and such, but right now I'm kind of worried about not making it home on time. Uh, so let's take the minecarts. Preferably if I will be able to get there. I'm not really sure if I will be able to get there. Damn it, am I gonna be able to get there? I'm not gonna make it home. I really need coffee. Yeah, okay. Well, now I'm gonna sleep outside, which stinks. So I might get charged for this. But overall, I'm still happy with the progression because... Hell, I got another barn installed. I gave the birthday boy his gift. I was able to uh, get the heaters. I was able to get more cows so yeah i i forgot about the crab pods but that was just because my backpack was full so unfortunately yeah i had to deal with that so let's see what will be the repercussions for me sleeping outside during winter but apparently it's not that much of a hit to my energy bar shockingly enough 
So weather report, the next episode is gonna have snow. Shocking fortune teller. Today is a super unlucky day, so that means definitely the worst idea to go into Skull Cavern. Theoretically, I can actually try to come across the five uh, frozen tears in the mines. Living of the land. Wondering how to get your hands on refined quartz? Just put a regular old quartz in the furnace. You'll need a lump of coal to fuel the fire. That is a terrible, terrible advice. Use the broken CDs and broken glasses in the recycling machines. You're gonna be much happier. Okay, so let's see what's the damage. Uh, Max, how are you doing? I've enclosed some instructions on how to make one of my favorite fish recipes. Fish taco. So fish taco is actually a recipe which I believe was introduced in the 1.4 uh, version. And the cool thing is that this is for either Caroline or Gus, their favorite gift. So we are definitely giving this to Caroline. We need tuna, we need tortilla, we need red cabbage, we need mayo. So yeah, pretty damn nice. And you get this recipe from Linus once you reach more than seven hearts from him. So yeah, pretty awesome. And Max found your lost item. Be more careful next time, Marlon. Thank you. And what's the damage, Max? You're lucky I find you last night. You were unconscious and someone was searching your pockets. I have no idea how much money they took. Uh, they ran away as soon as I approached. Be more careful, Linus. Yeah, he's got our back. Awesome. So I don't really see the point of me taking another snapshot for today because there's just not going to be that much of a difference, honestly. I'm not really sure what to do with the baggy pants. I like the pants which I have. I need to make uh, the mega bomb. What am I missing? So let's make the second one so we can drop that off. And let's see how are we doing with iridium. Yeah, so I'm missing one. I have one crystal fruit. I would require there for crocus again and uh, snow yam and winter root we can sell theoretically the dark sword Ooh, this thing has actually the vampiric effect damn that's nice uh so that's like an enchantment theoretically which we can get from using the what you call it uh the uh, blacksmith or the furnace on the fern island in the volcano or on top of the volcano okay so we have lots of artisanal stuff straight out the the gate this is why you want to keep up these things filled uh it's just gonna be you know what let's go split seas and let's put in some pumpkins and let's put in some eggplants and let's put in some cranberries Let's go like this. Let's get rid of the eggplants. And like this. This is gonna be a nice chunk of change once it's done. I have somewhere the rice shoots. Yeah, so these can be managed throughout the spring season without me having to water them. That's perfectly fine. What else can we do here, theoretically? Well, uh, without getting more wood, it's gonna be a bit tricky for me to pull off more kegs. Should be able to make the two, and I should be able to make the ancient fruit wine and if i will go see clint he's gonna be able to crack open these things and we can if i will be lucky enough drop off these things for uh caroline uh dark sword i should theoretically hold on to this for now 
The eggplants should be moved to the other side so that they are closer to where I need them to be. Okay, cool. Oh yeah, and I totally forgot to go to the secret woods. <laughs> I just want to check if the coffee is theoretically done, but nope, it's gonna take some time. So let's see what treasures we get today from the crab pots. Well, the watering is done, so I don't have to bother with that. And theoretically speaking, should allow me to maybe do some fishing or something so I can gain some money. Because, like I said, not really sure what was the financial damage. Still have the quest to catch the squid. Uh, Ice Pip is giving us iron ore, which is cute, but I would prefer the good stuff. And by the good stuff, I of course mean the uh, lava eel row. So once again, we are going to deposit all of these treasures. We need to drop off those frozen tears. Getting lots of muscles here. Gold from the lava eels. Okay, let's give you the two mega bombs to free up some of that pesky pesky backpack space. Yeah, that's a lot of shellfish. I really want to see how a larger quantity of these things are gonna help me out. Because so far, um, the. Even if I would be purchasing from Willy the food or the bait for these things, um, it would still pay off for itself because it's just, it has the value. I mean, I'm getting lobsters, I'm getting crabs, I'm getting shrimps here, so it should not be that much of an issue. Just not sell the mussels. I want to make sure that I will have as many mussels for the trade when it eventually comes to me obtaining the mango saplings and unless i move you two boys i can theoretically pop you two over here that way i can still use this thing to port myself over to the farm uh do i want to load in the ah, you know what let's get rid of the crystal fruit Let's take the two ancient fruits, load those in, because I have plenty of those currently growing inside of the greenhouse. This is going to give us some decent, valuable wine eventually. Okay, so... This is so far taken care of. I need to store away the ground. Muscles can go. So we have guaranteed one. Mango sapling. This can go here. This can go to Caroline. These boys can go to Clint. Yeah, I definitely don't need to carry around all these dishes. So let's drop them over here for now. So Caroline and Willie would be the two stops for today. And Clint. Okay, let's take a look at our moose. It's gonna take a while for... Oh my god, they are adult! I can milk my cows! <laughs> Awesome! So I need to make the cheese press. And I can theoretically use the cheese press as well for the fence. Which is a great suggestion from the comment section, so keep them coming. Uh, unfortunately, these moves are gonna take a while to get done. But that's perfectly fine. Robin will finish off on the next episode. I need to take a look. What do we need for the cheese press? Uh, wood, stone, hardwood, and copper bar. Okay, so hardwood should not be issue. Stone should not be issue. Wood is going to be a freaking issue. 
Uh, da, da, da. So how do I want to do this? Wood, stone, copper bar, and hardwood. The yeah, hardwood that that's that's fine. This is not the best. Gonna have to drop off the mill for now here. Okay, so let's also drop off the maple syrup. And I swear I saw somewhere a uh, lava geodes, or was it just a long distant memory from the past? That's possible. Okay, so let's go see if uh, Caroline will be inside of Pierre's shop so I can drop off that pumpkin. I do not have, unfortunately, uh, right now anything for the bundles, so I'm gonna have to wait and see for the traveling merchant to hook me up with something good. Uh, frozen tear. Yeah, everyone wants a frozen tear now, but I need it primarily for the ice pips. Okay, so Caroline is here, and there goes the gift. There goes the quest for 500 gold. And now to see if Willy is at his shop. Fortunately, Gus does not have anything good. Ooh, new quests. Okay, let's take a look at this. Robin's project. So, I need to take a look at the quest. Quests. Where is the link to that? I swear to God I had that thing opened. Special order. Okay. So, Robin's Project. Okay, so Robin's Project. Hey, I have an idea for a new style of bed. Well, I'll need 80 hardwood to make it happen. Can anyone help Robin? Seven days to finish. So, apparently, this has been already going since, what, the start of the winter season. Uh, we need to drop off 80 hardwood. We get 2,000 gold reward. We get friendship points. Robin Project's cutscene at the Robin's house. The Lux Red Double Bed can be purchased from Robin. And then there is Emily. And Emily has the Rock Rejuvenation. Hey, I'm going to invite some friends over to a Rock Rejuvenation Ceremony. But I'll need some crystals to channel the right energies. Do you think you can lend me a hand? Okay, uh... You need to have access to Emily's sewing machine in her house. And you need to drop off Ruby, Topaz, Emerald, Jade, Amethyst. I'm not really sure if also I would need to gather these after the quest is picked up or something. It, it doesn't mention it. The reward for this is 1000 gold, a friendship, a sewing machine, a rock rejuvenation ceremony cutscene at Emily's house. Okay, so let's take a look at these two recipes. So the deluxe red double bed, that, that looks pretty damn decent and actually kind of shocking that the pillows and everything is made out of hard wood. I would actually assume that must be horrible to sleep in. And the, the sewing machine basically is used to tailor clothes from the convenience of your home so you don't have to go and see Emily. So I think actually the sewing machine is much, much easier for me to do. And I actually should have all of the required items to be dropped off for her. So Ruby, Topaz, Emerald, Jade, Amethyst. I'm not really sure on the Emerald right now. The cool thing is that I can go back home and I can return here and pick up the quest later on. I really want to make sure we haven't been to the beach in ages. And I was really hoping that the beach would be just loaded with forageables. Just because I haven't been here in quite a while. So let's grab like... Yeah, 15 of them. Why the heck not? Uh, how much bait do I have? 228. Yeah, let's not buy that, but I want to grab this for the 
a squid hunt, theoretically. Okay, uh, normally I would actually load in the piers here. But since I can do everything on the farm and we are getting the sea forageables there, not that motivated to keep running here. So that is one of the advantages of the uh, beach farm. And I... S Ooh, damn, that's actually a shockingly stupid quantity of coral. I'm guessing I have not been here in quite a while. We can even do some fishing. Oh, damn it. You see, it's winter. We can try to go for the legendary fish. Stop giving me freaking seaweed. It's not cool. Yeah, that's a yellow cucumber. In theory, if we put this into the fridge, so eventually when we get the lucky launch or something, I can use it. Ah, I'm gonna see. Yeah, damn it. Okay, that did not last for too damn long, but I did manage to get a bite despite of the fact that the high concentration spot has vanished. Let's see what's inside of the treasure chest on the least luckiest of all days. Okay, more geodes. I'll take that. Because we need to go see Clint until 4 p.m. to get them opened. I do have plenty of space in the backpack. And I swear to God, I would love for the foraging skill to be up at tier 10. So that this would not actually happen. And I'm not really sure if it's the blue not the, the blue shell or the nautilus shell which needs to be dropped off for quest for Mr. Q or Y or how in the hell am I supposed to pronounce his name? In the tunnel. Okay, so process the geodes. Let's start with the basic ones. Okay, stone. I'm hoping for some coal here. Or iridium. One piece of iridium. Now I know I cannot get iridium from the basic one. Okay, that's annoying. If you're gonna give me the four dwarf scroll, I'm buying you beer for the rest of the winter. Thank you. So that's one iridium bar. Now that's gonna be used for mayo and... Okay, so unfortunately, I'm not really sure if I'm going to be able to donate any of this to uh, the museum. If not, well, we can sell it. Oh, son of a biscuit. Okay, so two of these things can be donated. Uh, which means that I don't have that many things anymore to drop off. I mean, this is covered, so <laughs> yeah, I probably misspoke there still have plenty of stuff to drop off trust me it's gonna be more and more difficult to come across those things so okay um let's grab the holly so that we can sell this because holly is just a terrible forageable thing but it helps with the forging skills i do see the worms and i'm tempted but if we're gonna come back to see if i have all the necessary minerals uh yeah, th this is the thing which I was talking about. So if we go inside here, we can drop off a battery pack. And that's gonna start a whole set of uh, quests, I think. You need to find this thing over here. It's a battery-powered lockbox. Unfortunately, there's no battery in it. So if we bring battery pack in there, we should be able to start triggering these things to happen. But first, I want to make sure that the crab pots have been installed at the floor. I know this is gonna burn through our bait a uh, bit faster, but that that's perfectly fine for now. Okay, uh, what can we drop off? So I'm selling... These things? There's some wine done. be 
able to smell this. Let's go start putting down those crap pots. So we can load in a couple of them over here. Do you wonder how this is gonna work out? Okay. So it looks like there are some to squeezed in over there. Let's put those remaining four under the recycling machines. Really glad that I'm getting milk. Like so. Okay, so uh, we have a piece of cloth. Theoretically, load in that cactus so I don't have to carry it around. Not even sure what type of coconut and cactus fruit. Okay, I'll live with that. Should be saving up these forageable thingies for theoretical use of crafting more seeds. It's gonna give us some beer. Okay. I could have gone with these two as well, but now yeah, what the heck. I'm not really sure. Uh, is it at 6 p.m. when the guild hall opens up so I can sell the dark sword? The thing is, I really don't want to carry around some of these things. Oh, damn it. I totally forgot to take a look at the necessary uh, minerals. Uh, I don't know if I have the emerald around. Uh, okay. So, uh, once again, we need a ruby, topaz, emerald, jade, and amethyst. So, we do have uh, amethyst. We do have a ruby. Uh, da, 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 da. Damn it. Okay, I don't seem to have the other stuff. So I'm missing three things. Okay, that's a lot of booze which is done simultaneously. Good to know. Yeah, this is the main advantage of Pale Ale. It, it takes a shorter amount of time for it to be done. So suddenly you can be spammed by a bunch of beverages that can supplement your income. Okay. This is unfortunate. Let's go sell the sword. Let's go. I'm not really sure what are my chances of coming across topaz, emerald, and jade in the quarry. Okay, this is jade. And this is topaz. So the one thing which I'm missing is actually freaking emerald. Awesome. Uh, let's see, emerald. What are your chances of spawning? Let's see, wiki, wiki, wiki. Emerald node. Uh, so we would need to check level 80 plus in order to come across. There's even a ruby node here with a secret note on top of that. Okay, that's another treasure. Yeah, I totally forgot that we picked up also the blueprint for the treasure on the train station. 
strictly speaking, if I would try to do the quest for Emily, because I do would prefer to have the sewing machine in comparison to a massive bed. Now the question is, where the heck do I drop off these things, you know? Like, I do have two rubies, so I'm not really sure if I need to drop it off at her place or if I need to drop off one for Emily. It does not mention in the quest, and I don't think I will be able to enter her home and uh, see if there's like a drop-off box for this. Maybe I can try it, but it's, it's kind of a risky thing to try and pull off. Yeah, it's locked. Okay, well, we're gonna see on the next episode how this is gonna turn out. So, yeah, I'm gonna probably cut off the commentary somewhere around here. If you did like the episode, well, give it a like. Uh, if you have any questions, concerns, comments, please feel free to leave them in the comment section. I will be more than happy to get back to you. I do publish content on a weekly base, and the best way to find out what the channel is currently up to is to subscribe. This way, when you get the notifications, or if you highlight the notifications for all the episodes, you will know what I'm currently releasing or currently up to. I do playthroughs mostly, then guides, and other more time-consuming content. Uh, so go check out the channel, link is in the description. I'm gonna wish you a pleasant rest of the day, and hopefully I will see you at the next one. Thank you for watching everyone, stay safe out there, and bye-bye for now. Is it winter when the midnight carp can be caught? Yeah, from 10 p.m. till 2 a.m. Maybe on my way back I can try to catch one. Still need to build those additional fish ponds after all. Thank <laughs> you.